Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. I don't know if that's what this is called. <laughs> but anyways, let's go. Oh, we can't. You're a Pokemon. Brock's looking for new challengers. Follow me. Alright, so because this is the first town, it's our first gym battle. Um, you know, everybody wants us to make sure we get into the routine of checking for gyms, looking at the town, you know, just doing stuff like that. So that's why this guy's taking us over to the gym. Um... Also, I wanted to show you why I didn't try leaving the town. Pretty swell. So this guy brought us to the gym. Pretty nice, which is what we are going to do immediately. Um, I went and fought those trainers off camera, so our Squirtle is level 12. Um, still naive. <laughs> I haven't looked up which, uh, what that nature does for us, but I, I don't really care about those natures, you know. But let's take a look at the stats really quick. Uh... Special attack is 19 and his attack is 17. It's good that our special attack is a little higher because our bubble attack is a special attack. Um, he knows withdraw, tail whip, blah blah, everything's the same. Um, but he is level 12 now and he is a little bit stronger. I think that's good enough to go ahead and walk into this gym and get ready to do stuff. And here comes the great gym music. Hiya, do you want to dream big? <laughs> Do you dare to dream of becoming the Pokemon champ? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. Let me take you to the top. Might as well. Alright, let's get to happening. Uh, the first Pokemon out in the match list is at the left of the Pokemon list. Uh, by changing the order of Pokemon, you may gain an advantage. Try different orders to suit your opponent's party. Alright, so what he's talking about is we can rearrange our Pokemon how they come out in battle. Uh, whoever's at the far left is going to come out first. Uh, but since Squirtles are only Pokemon, that's, that's all we can do. Um, also, if we talk right here, Pewter Pokemon Gym Leader, Brock. Winning trainers, Blue. So Blue has been here already, and he already won. That's great. Feels good. Also, in every gym, there is going to be some trainers that you can fight. I will be fighting this guy really quick, but sometimes you can just leave. You can just ignore the trainers, but be warned that if you fight Brock now, defeat him, you cannot fight that trainer later. So I recommend you fight them anyways, to try to just get some easy XP. I wasn't going to show this battle, but I figured I might as well, since there's also a little something to talk about. Um, every gym is curated to a specific Pokemon type. That doesn't mean that each Pokemon they use is going to be purely that type. Um, but if you haven't figured out, Brock uses Rock-type Pokemon. So that's why this kid right here has a Geodude, because uh, Geodude is Rock-type. Um, usually the Pokemon that the trainers have inside will usually have Pokemon that matches the gym leader. Um, also, Squirtle's trying to learn Water Gun, which is an amazing Water-type attack for early game. so let's go ahead and get rid of Withdraw, since I'll never use it, I promise. Squirtle forgot Withdraw, and learned Water Gun. So you can only have four moves uh, on each Pokemon. If it tries to learn a new move, you're going to have to forget one of your old ones. Right here, this guy has a Sandshrew, which isn't Rock-type, but it's Ground-type. It kind of relates to Rocks. Uh, let's go ahead and use Water. Ground-type Pokemon and Rock-type Pokemon are weak to Water-type attacks, so that's why I am kind of at an advantage, but if he tries to use Rock-types on me, they're not going to be, like, do less damage because I'm Water. Um, it, this is just a specific instance. <laughs> I hope I'm making sense with this. Uh, just because it's a, I'm, he's weak to my attacks doesn't mean I'm weak to his attacks, or I'm strong against his attacks, you know what I mean? Uh, anyways, we beat this kid. I probably explained that poorly, but let's go ahead and uh, talk to Brock. I recommend you save before a fight, just in case something goes wrong. Um, I'm going to save for the sake of something going wrong, but if I faint or die, I'm just going to go with it. You know, I'm not going to reset. But saving is something you can do. Uh, like, if you don't want to have any losing streaks, you know, you can reset. Uh, and you'll be right back to where you were before you ever spoke to Brock. Um, so here we go. So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. That's right. My Pokemon are all rock type. Foo ha ha. You're gonna challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then. Show me your best. Brock! Very different from how he was in probably the TV show, which a lot of people 
probably know him from, but Brock is uh, not the same as he was back then. This guy is just a straight-up gym leader, very confident, he has very strong Pokémon, they're all Rock-type. His first Pokémon is Geodude level 12, our Squirtle's level 13, and has a type advantage. So let's go ahead and try to knock this out as quickly as possible. Super effective, we just one-shot him. Awesome. Squirtle's gonna level up. Nice. He only has two Pokemon, and his next one is going to be Onix. Onix is a very fast, strong Pokemon, so we got to be careful with this. He's probably going to survive this. He's using Bind on us. Now, it's not the strongest move, but what Bind gets to do for him is do a little bit of damage to us every turn, and I one-shot him too. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to one-shot him, but we did. That's the advantage of picking Squirtle early game. You know, you get kind of a free card with Brock. Player defeated! Leader Brock. I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this. The official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables the use of the Move Flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the Move Flash to use it. Red got $1,400 for winning, and that's that. Wait! Take this with you! I received TM39. A technical machine contains a technique for Pokemon. Using a TM teaches the move it contains to a Pokemon. A TM is good for only one use, so when you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyways, TM39 contains Rock Tomb, it hurls boulders at the foe, and lowers its speed. Awesome! So, that's it. That's honestly probably the most anticlimactic fight ever. I'm probably going to have a bit of a hard time with the other fights, but if we go into our trainer card, we can look at ourselves, um, our ID numbers in the top right corner. That's not really relevant to us. Um, our playtime is shown below. Uh, it might be a little more than the video since I did some off-screen battling and training, but on the very bottom is the most important thing, our gym badges. Right there is our boulder badge. First badge, amazing. And also, really quick, if we look into our key items, we can access the TM case now. Take a look inside, and uh, Rock Tomb, our only TM, is displayed. It shows the power, the accuracy, and the power points, and a quick little uh, info of what the move does. Um, we can't teach it to any of our Pokémon, Squirrel can't learn it, but maybe in the future we could teach it to somebody else. And uh, what Brock was saying before, too, we can only use uh, TMs once, so we gotta use them pretty wisely. I'm gonna heal up, and then we're gonna go try to leave the city one more time. All right, we got the badge, our Pokemon are healed up. Let's go ahead and try to leave. Oh, Red, I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. We get the running shoes from the aide. Red switched the shoes to running shoes. Press the B button to run, but only when there's room to run. <laughs> well, I must be going back to the lab. Bye-bye. So what he just gave us was probably like the best item introduced in the Pokemon series at all. Uh, Dear Red, here's a pair of running shoes for my beloved challenger. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up. From Mom. Aww. That's so swell. Um, but basically, the running shoes let us run. We get to move faster. Um, this is going to save a lot of time. I'm so glad that they introduced these into the game. But here we are in Route 3. That's where we are, right? Let me check really quick. Yes, Route 3. <laughs> it's a very mountainous area. Um, I'm going to walk over here slowly. Yep. Yeah. So, we have trainers everywhere, and it's going to be pretty annoying to fight them all. So, as you can see, there's like three, four trainers you can see already. I'm going to clear these, and I'll be right back. I just finished a battle. Squirtle got to level 16. And he's evolving into War Turtle! I'm sorry, I didn't realize sooner. I was, like, half paying attention. Ah, <sighs> alright, so I'm trying to avoid as many trainers as I can right now, too. Um, I'm gonna leave really quick. If you leave the route, the trainers are gonna reset to where they were standing before. Um, so if I come over here, I can now walk past this guy right there. I'll come back and battle these guys later. So, that's why I'm skipping them for now. But yeah, Squirtle evolved into Wartortle. He evolved at level 16, if we take a quick look. Evolving makes your Pokemon quite a bit stronger. They get a big stat increase. Um, their abilities usually don't change, but they can later on. 
Um, War Turtle ability is still the same, it's Torrent, and uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and keep battling these guys. I will meet you guys when I get to that chunk of land over there. Alright guys, something I wanted to mention really quick before we get to that bit of land. If you run in tall grass, you are more likely to run into a Pokemon. Um, just keep that in mind. <laughs> Walking through grass makes it a little uh, easier. And there's a few new encounters over here. There are Nidorans. I think there's Jigglypuffs too. A Spearow. We can catch a Spearow if we wanted to. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I don't want those guys. There's something uh, coming up a little bit later that I want to try to catch. Uh, I'm pretty sure that guy's a trainer. <gasps> Ooh, I almost fought him. I'm pretty sure there's an item in there. Uh, that sign is saying, Mount Moon ahead. I think we're in the clear. Yes, this guy's not a trainer. We made it to the next little bit of land. Awesome. Just checking these rocks because I'm pretty sure one of them has something. But I guess not. Uh, there's a Pokemon Center right there. Ooh, check this out. Uh, usually the grass, there's only two different colors. There's that really light one, that little slightly dark one. But right there where it looks a little busy right in front of me, there's usually something hidden. <laughs> so just keep that in mind if you're playing along too. Um, but this is probably going to be where we end the episode. I know it was a bit shorter, but we are going to go inside of Mount Moon next, and we did fight Brock today. Thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. Um, also, let me know if there are any Pokemon you want me to catch in the future. I'm going to probably take a little break from playing, because I haven't even uploaded the first episode yet. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. But I get a pick first, because oh, pigs are great. Alright, over here we have Bulbasaur, the grass type Pokemon. We have Squirtle, the water type Pokemon. Come in, come in, come in. I'm hiding in the house. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> uh -huh. nope. Okay, another one. Another one's coming. Uh -huh. Oh, I hit the villager! Oh.